Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Doctor Who, um, in a bit of a different uh, setting than uh, we're normally used to. Uh, in case you missed uh, Monday's episode of Torchwood, I am filming in a different location than my normal uh, desk. I just kind of, I wanted to do this because I wanted to get away from the white wall that I was sitting in front of. And I thought I'd make things a bit more interesting, kind of go with a setup that's a bit different, very, very blind wavy, you know, how they have the table and stuff like that. Uh, very blind wavy, but I like blind wave, I think their setup is really, really cool. And while I don't have, like, you know, pops or stuff like that uh, behind me relating to the shows I'm watching, I do have a fireplace, and that's a bit better than the white wall. So, yeah. Um... I'm pretty much just going to be filming most of my videos here now. Uh, probably not all of them, but most of them, I would say, are going to be filmed right here, which is really cool. So yeah, last time on Doctor Who, well, first off, we did have, um, we did have the Infinite Quest, uh, which is a video I did for Sunday. That was pretty cool. Uh, the Doctor and Martha going through, um, trying to find something called the Infinite, which will grant you a wish, basically, or it'll give you, I don't know, it was something like it'll give you your heart's desires? I don't fully remember. Um, but last time on regular Doctor Who, we had 42. Really great episode where the Doctor and Martha ended up on this ship out in space that was being pulled into a star by that star's gravity, and they had 42 minutes before they crashed into that star and everyone died. Um, pretty interesting, we got some cool concepts with, um, with the star actually being sentient and possessing people in order to, um, in order to basically get revenge for them stealing part of it. So that was really cool, a lot of fun stuff, um, yeah. That's pretty much that. Ugh, excuse me. Um, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's, um... Oh, God. Oh, God. Ugh. Sorry. I, ch I just ate lunch, so... I'm a little, uh, burpy. So, yeah. Um, no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's stick to... This episode and previous episodes of both Doctor Who and Torchwood that I've reacted to, and in terms of classic Doctor Who spoilers, um, in terms of classic Who, you are allowed to reference it, just don't be very, don't be detailed about it. I'd rather you just be very, very vague when you reference classic Who. Uh, with all that being said, let's get into episode 8 of series 3 of Doctor Who. Um, yeah, here we go. Oh, jeez, whoa! Did they see your face? No, they No, did they? What happened? What even is... This watch is... What? Daredevil, a man. The Doctor. Yeah, you... Oh, uh, he's Master very mad. I dreamt. Companion. Teacher and housemaid, sir. <laughs> it's impossible. Did he... Man from another world. Did he wipe his memory? Completely human. Completely human, apparently. What? Oh no, children are singing and walking strangely. Hands like those, how can you tell when something's clean? <laughs> oh, so we're That's funny, sir. So we're getting, we're going all the way with 1913, huh? I mean, I, I, I never thought you'd be one for I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't. If you do, you may not. Um, I, I probably won't. But even if I did, then I, then I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I... Have you checked for concussion? I have. And I dare say I know a lot more about it than you. Wow. Sorry. I'll just tidy your things. Uh, that's gotta be hard. She is a doctor just telling in you training. Mate, Bill. Um... One. Confirm the diagnosis. Just one heart. Mm. Singular. Huh. 
I have, um, I have written down... Did he change his DNA? ...form of fiction. Such imagination. Uh, God, he's been dreaming about the Daleks. That's... Is that the Ood? Who is that? Who's that? I don't know, she's, uh, Aww. just an invention. This, this character, Rose, I call her Rose. Oh, That? Oh, the Cybermen. Oh, that's the box. And the TARDIS. Oh, so was that. Um, Man, he like still a, can't get over Rose. It's how magical life would be if stories like this were true. If only. What the heck? Those were all the doctors. Dream. He's been dreaming about his other forms. I like that. It's just some sort of luck. He can right. see the future. Well, that little toad. Who's... Now hurry back, Baines. I'm parched. Brain dicks. Why is he there with them, then? Uh, did you see that? Freaking aliens. Did you see it, oh, I forgot about the clocks. Sorry, the clocks are gonna do that. Okay, um, what? Oh, they're looking for the doctor. And that's not him. So, who are these aliens? That's by Cooper's field. You can't just run off. She's gonna go investigate. That's what the doctor would do if he wasn't. Whatever has happened to him right now. You're not freaking out about this or anything? Look at that face. It's just <laughs> All right, so they're cloaked. What are they? Who could be after the doctor like this and have time travel capabilities? As your Mr. Smith says, nothing to see. Dang, it's right there, Martha. Dang it. But they don't understand. We look so familiar. What? What happened there? Where is he? That was so he's weird. Then vanishes into the night. Talking to a machine. The TARDIS is alive. You gotta remember that. You haven't learned that yet. It was a while before Rose found out, though. So I don't blame you. Of course I do. Because it all depends on you. Yeah. What well, was it specifically? Like, just a memory wipe? Well, then. This watch is me. I have to stop being a Time Lord. I'm gonna become human. He can just do that. So, did he put what's left of him inside the watch? As like a backup system? Now, I'll put a perception filter on it so the human me won't think anything of it. To him, it's just a watch. Right. But don't open it unless you have to. Okay. Because once it's open, then the family will be able to find me. Okay. It's all down to you, Martha. But no man should hide himself, don't you think? Yes, sir. <laughs> Clever. Oh, the irony. Be proud of it. Use it. He can see through the perception filter. He... You're really not looking yourself much. I'm not bothering you. He's a Time Lord now. That means he has two hearts. Maybe? I don't know. Does it does it count for how long he was exposed to it? The Daleks, the Cybermen, the Ood, the Werewolves, everything. Every last thing. This freaking guy. This creepy freaking smile. Hello, did you? No, it's just alive. Oh no. No! Why scarecrows? You may have a just and proper war in which to prove yourself. Now, does you no. Firing? No one should want to go to war. Permission to give Latimer a beating, sir. What class, Mr. Smith? Permission granted. Right. Come with me. Jeez. Free in English. Hardcore, apparently. Now 
Nice shot! Holy crap! You extraordinary man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the doctor coming in. Doctor? No, my father, Sidney, was a, a watchmaker from Nottingham, and my mother, Verity, was, um, well, she was a nurse, I guess. Now, was that his actual parents? Must prefer at all. This is like freaking next gen. Living an entire other life. That's no good. What about the stuff you didn't tell me? What about women? <laughs> you didn't think of that. The last of the Time Lords. The last of that wise and ancient race. Hmm. This is a man. How many people, like. Like, occasionally he's talking, but who are the other people that are talking? Mother of mine. I didn't figure out. That guy looks so familiar, but... Oh, man. He kind of looks like Tom Hiddleston, but I, I don't You're think wonderful. it does. You bet. Oh, I I can tell you, Jenny, but it's complicated. In what way? I just can't. She, yeah, they're going to figure out that she's with the doctor. Tell me now. Uh, oh, oh dear. Oh, you missed. Oh my God, where's it gone? Where's the watch? Oh no, now she you looks crazy. A watch, a possessed or a copied or something, and you've got to tell me where's the watch. Oh, I see. No, you don't. Cultural differences. Oh, okay. Martha. Not now, she's busy. Go, go after her. Yeah. Eccleston could dance better. <laughs> because daughter of mine's already there. We've been invited to the dance. Oh. Okay. So the little girl's already there. With the with the bringing balloon. Yeah, well, think again, mate. <laughs> you just know that there's something else in there. There's something hidden. Should have taken this approach from the beginning instead of slapping him. I... Do you know what this is? It's a sonic screwdriver. Name it. Go on. Name it. John, what is that silly thing? Come on. Spare a penny, sir. I didn't spare you. Aww. Poor guy. Yeah. So how does the kid factor into all this? I mean, I know he's got like whatever. Oh, and a human brain too, simple, thick and dull. What he's the are you people? Is. We need a time lord. Easily done. Why do they need a time lord? Which one of them do you want us to kill? Oh man! It's bringing air. It's it's arrow all friend, over again. Or your lover. Your choice. Oh, I knew it! Crap, I knew it! Oh my gosh. Crap! Dang it, I... Dang it, alright. Oh, okay, while we were going through this episode, I was thinking, like, man, is this a two-parter? And I thought... Well, think about it, like, we've gone, we've had one two-parter in this series so far, which was, um, the Dalek two-parter, so, um, yeah, we've only had the one Dalek two-parter, so, <laughs> and generally we've had two two-parters, um, three-ish, I guess, throughout these series, because in uh, series one, there was the Aliens in London uh, two-parter, then there was the uh, the Empty Child two-parter, and then um, the, the Finale two-parter. Same thing for series two. We had, uh, ooh, what was in series two? Uh, we had the Age of the Cybermen, uh, the Satan Pit, and and the finale, like I said. So yeah, I was thinking, man, I guess I guess we're due for another two-parter. 
Sure enough, holy crap. Which I'm glad, actually, because I was kind of thinking, like, is everything just going to be wrapped up really quickly? Like, that's a, we have a lot to, like, explain. Like, who are, who is the family? Why, what is with the kid who now is a Time Lord? Why is there a fly on my camera who, ah, get off of there. Mm, I don't want to throw anything, especially because... If I try to throw something, that is going to land right on my dog, who's sitting on the couch uh, behind the camera. Why is there a fly on my camera? I hate flies so much. Anyway. I, I've got some notes, but... One thing I always say with two-parters is that, after the first part, I generally don't have a lot of notes to... I don't have a lot of notes that I wrote down and that I would discuss... And, um, I, and I, uh, and generally, like, everything will pretty much be answered in the next episode, so, yeah, discussions are a little tough with, uh, these two-parters, but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, so I wrote down memory at first, so it basically seems to be that he just, he rewrote himself, basically. I guess he put all... He put everything that made him a Time Lord into the watch. So I'm assuming that's like a backup system to where... Um, it's a backup system so that, you know, he can be the Doctor again. But, yeah, that's interesting. So, he's going up against these people, the family... And they are so powerful, I guess. Like, they can, they can track him across the universe and across time. That is... That's crazy already. So, there's that. So, in order... In order to get away from them long enough for... I guess for them to die, he had to use... Something on the TARDIS that he's... It, it seems like he's never used this before. And... Um... And basically just change himself from a Time Lord to a human. And pretty much just wipe all his memory and just create a new persona. Being, um... John Smith, this professor at this school in uh, England as opposed to being, well, the Doctor. So that's interesting. So, it's interesting that he would just have this device. I'm wondering, like, why is this device a part of the TARDIS? Like, something that can change him back... Well, that will change him into a human and stuff. That's interesting. So I'm wondering, like, I guess it was put into the TARDIS for this specific uh, situation. You know, maybe that's like it's Time Lord protocol to put something like that in there. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, we, d we really don't know anything about the family. Just that they have time travel capabilities, uh, for one. And they can track the Doctor, and they are hell-bent on getting the Doctor for some reason. Now, it's not just that they're trying to kill the Doctor. They are... They specifically said they need the Doctor, because they need a Time Lord. So that even goes further beyond... It's not just that they need the Doctor, they just need a Time Lord. Which is interesting. It really makes me wonder, what the heck are they doing that requires a Time Lord, basically? So, that's all interesting, and... Yeah, really interesting episode. I, I really liked it. I liked, you know, I liked all that. Uh, all the characters that we've now met in uh, this school, and they are all very interesting. I like how Martha has to really try to blend in uh, to this place as sort of a servant. You know, we, she really hasn't done, at least I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but because I may be misremembering, but she really hasn't done any sort of, um, any sort of undercover mission, basically. Like, even Rose didn't do that many undercover missions, and even then she had the Doctor with her. You know, even in, like, uh, like in School Reunion, 
uh, Rose, you know, was uh, um, a, a cook, basically, at the cafeteria for the school, but she still had the doctor there. She was still working with the doctor. Martha, this is her first undercover mission, and she's just alone. So that's interesting. And I like the journal. I like the journal that the doctor, or John Smith, has been keeping about the doctor, showing, like, everything... Everything that has stuck sort of in his memory, you know, the Cybermen, the Daleks, Rose, that was interesting. He's still, he's still caught up on Rose. Man, poor Martha. Martha is in love with this guy, and not only is he still not over his ex-companion, basically, but he also now has a new, you know, lover in this. It's like, man, poor girl. But yeah, I also like the little thing where he's he drew like every single doctor that has predated him basically um i didn't get too good of a look at it so i didn't like see all of them but i think i saw like um uh who whoever plays uh the eighth doctor uh in the movie i, I think i saw him i saw like uh william hartnell i think patrick troughton the second doctor i think i know i at least saw those three I'm wondering, here, maybe I can scooch back in here and see if I can find it somewhere. Yeah, so it'd be like right over here. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Right. So, there's the picture of the Dalek. There's the Ood. There's, I don't know what that is. And there's, oh, okay, so this, this one here, sorry, uh, all the Amazon stuff is in the way. But this one right here is, uh, that's from Girl in the Fireplace, the, the, uh, the robots from that one. Um, and there's Rose, which is sad. It's sad on multiple levels. Like, it's sad for Martha. It's still sad for him. There's the Cybermen. There's the TARDIS. Ooh, I wonder if I could read some of this stuff, actually. That might be interesting. Nothing can harm... Unless I got left up... What? what? It's hard to read. Especially in cursive. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not good with cursive, so... Ba ba ba, keep on going. Okay, here. Oh my gosh. Okay, can I just. Will it go away if I. Yes, okay. Okay, I was, I was a bit wrong. Uh, the, the one in the middle, that's the eighth doctor, I know that. Um, next to him is. Ooh, uh, what's his name? Sylvester McCoy? He should be the seventh. I can't tell who the guy on the right is. I don't know. Are they going to show the other two, or the others? No. Okay, well, I was hoping we'd get a better look at the rest of them, but, I mean, that's some of them, so. So that was interesting. Um, yeah, great episode. Really can't wait to see uh, where we go from here with this two-parter. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's basically it. Uh, you can leave down in the comments what you think of this episode, and you can also leave down in the comments what you think of my new setup I have going on here. And with all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Doctor Who reactions, you can click on the playlist, which is right below me. You can check out uh, some of my other videos over here. You can subscribe if you haven't done that already. Follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you later.